Hey guys, let me get to the point about Iconic Masters and what could have saved the set. The problem with Iconic Masters is the price point was just not $9.99 for the quality of card as well as the uh, value, the expected value is not there. There is a reason this set will go down as one of the worst, if not the worst master set in all of history. I highly expect 25th masters to be very very good to make up for this very poor product so why what could have saved it i don't like to be someone who always presents a problem today i'm going to present you the solution and it's kind of simple 9.99 a pack msrp is too much not for what is in here and not for the quality of the cards themselves this is not a good deal for $9.99. It never was. Mana Drain was always going to plummet into oblivion and everything else in it was kind of meh. If you set a pack to $10 a pack, that's you're just asking, you're, you're asking for trouble. Now, if this was $6.99 a pack, which is what Modern Masters, the original was, MSRP, then they would sell a lot more. People would be a lot happier. I don't feel like it would cost Wizards of the Coast that much. And you would get good value from it. This would be very good value at $6.99. It is tremendously bad value at $9.99. And here's the greed. Here's where the greed comes in. How much money did it actually cost? I mean, obviously Modern Masters 1 was $6.99 a pack, so they could have produced it profitably at that cost point. But why charge $9.99 a pack for the contents of this card, which is Mana Drain, and that's the only mythic of value. And a few rares over $10. A handful of them. The Uncommons, Commons, not the best. You do have Bobble at Uncommon, but again, like I said, there's just too much of it. So if instead of $9.99... MSRP and 240 MSRP a box. So if the 240 was, let's say, 180 a box, so seven times, let's just say six, 599, six times 24, it's still kind of a weird number, but it gets closer to its actual value. I think that all these discount products, when you go to GameStop and a bundle is like $45 and now you can buy for $9, that's not a very good impression or branding of your of your company. When you go buy the Magic Duel to Planeswalkers board game for five bucks, and originally it was, I don't know how much, $35, or you buy a legacy figure that was $24.99, and now it's on the dollar store, this is not a good, good look for a brand. They have to be reasonable. I know they have people who can do math. They could have done math on the expected value discounted by 50%, which is what we typically see for mass reprints like this. Accounted for Walmart and Target and reached the conclusion that no, this is definitely not $9.99 a pack. This is closer to $6.99 a pack or $5.99 a pack. At $5.99, I don't see why these cards have to be expensive. So they are clearly basing the value of the pack based on your reprints, but they did the wrong math here because they should have had more value or better reprints. So if they had Mana Drain and then they'd, they'd force a will another time, I guess it gets there. But just how embarrassing is it that it's only Mana Drain at Mythic and there's literally nothing above $15 besides Mana Drain at Mythic. The rares are kind of hit or miss. Like, yeah, you do have Vile, you do have Horizon Canopy and Grove of the Burn Willows, which is nice. I mean, I, I appreciate them because I don't have any of those cards. I did not have any of them previously. I'm still waiting for the low point, which I expect to hit during Christmas sales because that's the low point of all retail experiences, I assume. Anyway, I just wanted you guys to know that the solution was quite simple. It was not implemented due to mis either miscalculations or just greed. So when you have a product that's 240 and selling online for 145 or 150, it does not look good. It does not build consumer confidence that these people know what they're doing. So imagine, it's kind of like when you go into a rug store and it's always like going out of business. That is what my feeling is. We have Walmart and then Major and then Target and then 
Walgreens and everyone's having fire sales and GameStop and I could continue on. I could just list every Barnes and Noble. I can continue towards us. It's not a good luck when you have a Funko Legacy figure for twenty four ninety nine MSRP. You produced it very poorly, and now it sits at a dollar store, and no one even wants to buy it for a dollar. Last time I bought my Funko figures, they were two ninety nine. Today, as I found out, they were ninety nine cents, and still no one wants them. No, I think it's still two ninety nine. I'm not positive, but there's still a bunch of them. A bunch. I didn't buy them, so like maybe I should buy some. I will buy like four hundred dollars of it if you guys want me to, and just have it here because that's how much I pay for an anime figure anyway. So, oh, it's one anime figure, great. Um, but my local dollar store has. 500, 600, 800 of these, like just in display. And they sit on the ground in the worst corner in the store because no one wants to buy them. The uh, I'm talking about the uh, Magic Gathering Legacy line. Make Magic cards cheaper. That's it. The solution was always right in front of their face. If they sold this at $699, $599, $499, it would never get to this point because it wouldn't start at the 240. That's unreasonable. Who's paying 240 for this? Like it's like I could tell from looking at the contents, and then that was aided by the fact that they put it in Walmart, which does devalue it, right? So like you're not gonna see. I saw a good diver at Walmart the other day. I was like, oh, what are you doing, good diver? And that was bad. Bad on good diver. Uh, it was not like a huge display, but it was like a Carmel or something at the bottom. And I was like, wow, that's so bad for their branding. And that's why I feel like Magic is doing. If I mean, all their products, from if you compared the MSRP, Explorers of Ixlon, blank anthologies, this anthologies, that anthologies, it's not even like close, right, to MSRP. And with GameStop selling standard boosters for under a dollar, with uh, bundles for nine bucks at GameStop, and all of these other st things that are happening, and buy one get one free sales left and right for the Christmas season, of course. Seeing a product that MSRP is one hundred forty to two hundred forty dollars, no matter how much you hype it, no matter how much you do it, the product is still crap. I can look at the cards in it and say, ooh, this is never going to reach $240 because the value of the cards themselves and not even the card quality. And that's been a very big one. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.